Hello everybody, this is Electronic Pro Seller from the iBoot team and today I'm going to show you how to set up the brand new Bitfury twin chip USB miner. So here's the miner, it's actually quite big, it's bigger than the normal USB miners and the special thing about this is that it's got two chips, that's why it's called the twin chip USB miner. So it's got two Bitfury chips and it can hash at a speed of 4 to 5 giga hashes per second and it can also be overclocked quite easily. So it has a nice large red heat sink on there to cool it down. And today I'm going to show you how to set it up. So the first thing you have to do is just plug it into your USB port. There you go. So the LED light will come on. And then Windows will say that it's searching to install the device driver. Okay, so now it says wait for Windows driver software installation to finish when it says ready to use. Now, basically what you have to do is we have to reinstall our own driver on top of this. So we have to install a Win USB driver so that it can work with a CG Miner. So to do that, you have to go to Zagdig driver installation download. So go to Zagdig driver installation download here and download Zagdig for your version of Windows. Basically, we're going to use this program to um, reinstall a Win USB driver for the miner, and then we're going to use CG Miner to mine with it. Let's wait for this to finish. It's pretty quick. My internet's a bit slow, but it's okay. Okay, so open that. Click yes. Okay. So look here for the devices, you won't see anything there. So what you've got to do, go device, options, list all devices. Then go down and you have to find our miner. So it will be the one called single RS232HS, this one. Click that. And you'll see the driver at the moment is FTDI bus. So we don't want that. We're going to replace it with a Win USB driver. So click replace driver. So this takes a few minutes. So at the start, when you first plug in the miner, even if it says um, Windows driver installation failed, don't worry because you're going to basically install the correct driver using Zagdig anyway. So um, don't worry. Basically, all you have to do is plug it in, download Zagdig, and then reinstall the Win USB driver on top. Ooh, finished. So we're all done. Then go download um, our version of CG Miner. So I'll include the download link in the about information for the video. Download. Okay, open the WinRAR file. Extract it to your chosen location. So I'm going to put mine on the desktop. Okay. Great. Close that. Go to the file. So here we go, CG Miner 4.20, open, it's the latest version of CG Miner. So it has everything you need to mine here. Find the mine.bat file, right click, edit, and now here are the settings for the miner. So we have cgminer.exe, dash O, then put in your mining pool, colon, put in the port of your mining pool, dash U, put in your username, dash p put in your password and then you're also going to have to have this in it this um, dash dash bm bxm dash bits equals 54 so basically you can change this value from anywhere from 50 to 56 and this will basically affect the speed so you have to find out which one works for your miner it will just depend so i'm going to put it on 54 for now we'll see how that goes 
54 usually is the fastest speed but you can also push it up to 56 and sometimes it will go faster or you can make it lower and it might make it go faster it just depends on the miner so I'm ready to go yep save differences excellent now run the bat file give it a couple of minutes and we're off straight away very nice so it might take a few minutes for it to show the correct speed at the moment it's saying 6 giga hash per second it should be anywhere between 4 giga hashes to 5 giga hashes nice so it's accepting a lot of shares that's what you like to see accepted accepted share it's happily mining away and the speed is 5.2 gear hashes per second excellent so that's it um, I hope you enjoyed the video next time I'm going to show you how to overclock the device so how to overclock the USB miner using a special little trick and it was going to make it go even faster so that's all from me this is electronic pro seller from the iBoot team and um, if you're interested in buying any of these um, miners then you can go to my website www.iboot.com or you can also go to our eBay store and buy on my eBay so this is the Bitfury twin chip um, USB Bitcoin miner ASIC miner and it's um, the hashing speed is 4 giga hashes to 5 giga hashes so um, thank you very much and I hope you enjoyed the video happy mining <laughs>